Hello, hello, my YouTube family. Here we, here we again with the episode five of Being Lion Hot Vlogs with the Nottingham's finest, the first Asian world champion, WBF inter intercontinental holder, Commonwealth title holder, uh, uh, achieving MBA for his service to the community, uh, IBO world champion uh, holder, uh, uh, defending it several times before uh, retiring, still undefeated, Mr. Javid, to sleep, Khalik. Hi, and thank you uh, for that great introduction. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for uh, being part of my vlog today. It's been an honor. I'm actually a big fan of Javi Khalik's. First time I've come to training with him, it's been a big honor training with him. Pleasure having him on my vlog. Honestly, it just is so, and I don't know, I'm just so chuffed to have you on my, on my vlog today. I'm so happy, but thank you very much for taking the time out. And uh, honestly, I'm just humbled. Okay. I, I, I see you doing really good things, and, uh, and I, I, read, I saw that bit where you inspired one of the young young lads, yeah. and that's what we're here for, you know, to to give give our experiences, inspire the youngsters, and have them doing great things just like uh, we did. Well, um, I started boxing when I was just leaving school. Uh, it was a rough area, a new gym opened in that area, and me and a few friends went to check it out. I sort of fell in love with boxing, and, and I was very good at the beginning, you know, uh, with that big beginning. <laughs> and I started fighting within a few months, winning quite a few fights, um, entering tournaments very early, and, um, and winning. Um, and started getting recognized on the papers and stuff. Prince of the Scene came on the scene uh, back then. I was only uh, 18, 19 and he came on the scene and he inspired me, you know, an Asian doing some boxing, which I never saw before. I didn't see many Asians in any sport apart from cricket and, bad and badminton, uh, sorry, squash and badminton or something, yeah. And um, he inspired me and I thought, you know what, I might, I might be able to do better than, uh, you know, uh, than what I'm doing now or I might be able to achieve something. Um, and I thought, I'll give it a couple of years. I was working at the time, doing a bit of cabin, I just got married. Uh, so I got back involved in boxing and, uh, and, and took it a bit more serious. Won the ABAs at 26, a bit late, and, and became number one in England, boxed for England a few times. And I thought, I've got to do it now or never. And I Unbelievable, all the titles that he's won, what he's doing for the community, what level he's on. Look, being a world champion, he's retired undefeated. I mean, that in itself is just, just, just weight. But like I said, he's just one person that I, I strongly admire. And I, I mean, look, I'm here today training with him, interviewing him. I mean, how much of a privilege and honor can he be? I mean, the training today was so intense. 
Um, Mr. Derek Ali, you know the trade that you're doing today? Yeah, just tell me, I know it's the first time with you, how did I do? I know it was very intense, honestly the training was so intense, you'll see it. But I just want Mr. Jared Kali to tell you how it was. I think you're doing great, um, you picked up all the footwork really, really quickly. A lot of people struggle with footwork and I believe if you've got a good foundation, you'll develop really good. Um, so we like to work on footwork, which, which I showed you quite a bit of footwork and, uh, and you picked it up really well and you started doing it really well. And after that the circuit, that's a very intense hard circuit and if you're not, used to doing that kind of stuff, it can really knock you out a little bit and, uh, and you managed it, you know, you, you even jumped onto the high um, high jump box, so that was great. <laughs> Honestly, that's because of Javli Khalik's inspiration. I've never done that before. I don't know how it happened, it's just the inspiration, just just the motivation of Javid Khalik being there doing it for me. But like I said, isn't it? When you, when you look up to someone and they're there in front of you, things just happened. And I was just there, just giving him my best. But I will definitely be coming up training with him again. But honestly, today was just so intense. It was so, so Five good. Seconds, go. Give me one more. Last one. Come on, let's do it. Change. Yeah. Right, the main question now that I want to ask Javi Khalik, this is the main one. Right, this name, Too Sleek. <laughs> when did that come in? At the start or more, more towards your professional career? It was at the start. Um, I was at the training camp, uh, well, in the gym, when I moved from Sheffield. I used to be at, with Jason Shinfield and, and um, at Jason Shinfield was in Alf Alfreton. It was, it was um, two smooth Jason Booth and uh, one, uh, one smooth uh, Nicky Booth. And they used to mess about with us and, I, and they, used, they couldn't hit me. They'd be like, they were, they were beating everybody up. They were little like eight stoners and like, flyweights and stuff, bantam weights. And they were struggling to hit me and the other guys were struggling to hit me and I was getting really good with my defence. And they go, he's too sleek, he's too sleek. And then one day we just rhymed it and somebody rhymed it and I said, you know what, that sounds like a good nickname. It's not one of them um, silly, cringy, gimmicky ones. And it just sounds all right. And, uh, and I, I'm not really one for names, but I kind of like that one. And I said, yeah, you know what? And it stuck. And uh, I still get people outside saying, oh, you're too sleek, aren't you? And I think, shit, they can still remember me after all these years, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice, it's good. You know the name too sleek is Susan because you know today, you know his footwork, it's just too sleek. <laughs> you know, I've been, you know, when I started following you, I seen a few uh, celebrity boxers that you've been, uh, uh, you met up with. I know Mike Tyson, he's my favorite by the way. I love, I love Mike Tyson. He's one guy you met. Can you give us insight of any other, other, other boxers you met and uh, how you met them and you, do, are you still got in contact with them? I met quite a few over the years. Um, Mike, Mike Tyson was touring and uh, and he was in the UK, so it was an opportunity, and I, I, I jumped at it. You know, I wanted to meet him. So I got to meet him, and he was he was just huge. You know, he's still in the picture. He looks his head looks twice as big as me, and uh, and he's not that tall. And you think, how the hell is he boxing these six foot six guys? But well, it was his footwork and his speed that I used to get him in there. Amazing, you know, to see that he was boxing them guys. Um, I've, I've, I've met. Uh, Ricky Hatton, uh, not long ago, I sparred with him quite a few times as well back in the day. Uh, we've done a bit of training together. Amir Khan um, and uh, the Prince Nassim Ahmed, obviously, I met him. Um, Roy Jones, um, he came down doing the tour as well. And Joe, Joe Kazagi, I met him at a, a show. Carl Froch, he's from Nottingham, I met him a few times, obviously, Lee Ward. Um, there's quite a few boxers that uh, we've met over the years. and. Uh, yeah, we keep in touch with some of them at boxing shows. I'm so busy with the gym that I don't really get out that much anymore, you know. It's, uh, as you saw today, I had my breakfast here, I used to eat, sleep. I used to tell people it's eat, sleep, train, repeat when I was training. Um, and now it's the same when I'm coaching, you know. I'm having to spend twice as much time talking to some of the kids. Some of the kids come with their problems, they come and talk to us. They stay here after they finish the gym, having a little chat with you because they just want that little confidence boost. They have that, the problems at home or any at school or work or wherever and they come and talk to you for a little bit and it makes them feel better and, and you, spin it, feel it, you inspire them a little bit you push them and, and it just makes you feel good that you can do that for, for somebody without even really doing much Three, two. You know like there's a lot of charity exhibition fights going around if you were ever told to have an exhibition fight yeah. would you ever do it or is that them days gone now? Uh, definitely a few people have been asking me recently so this is for anybody out there that's listening Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, all of them guys that were supposed to fight me or, or we were talked about. Give me a call, I'm ready anytime. 
Um, so yeah, I'd love, I'd love to do an exhibition. And if it was that um, um, social media guy, what's his name? The one that was floored me with Paul, Paul Logan. Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh yeah, them, them guys, them Pauls. Yeah. Any time, any place, anywhere, as they say. Paul Logan, do you hear that? David colleagues, David, two sleek colleagues saying he wants, he wants you a fight. You've done Floyd Mayweather, now it's time to do the sleek. That's it, yeah. Bam! On the side, you can throw a straight right. Anyway, it's been a pleasure having my brother Javid Khalike. Like I said, I am so humbled to be here training with him, doing a vlog with him. And I mean, how much more can I say? It's just a blessing. And thank you so much, uh, Javid. Keep following Lion guys, yeah? Wicked. Thank you. And, and uh, make sure, if you ever are inspired, come down to Javid Khalik Fitness Club. Trust me, I've had a taster today. I mean, not just a taster, I think I had a good full hour, hour with the hour, 10 minutes, I was done. But you know what? Javid Khalik made me carry on, carry on, carry on. I was actually halfway through, I was dead. But you know what? He made me go all the way. That tells you, never ever think you can't do it. You can do it. It's all about motivation and inspiration. And people like Javid Khalik, my brother here, are definitely there to motivate. And honestly, a blessing so much to have a Javid Khalik on my vlog. And inshallah, I will definitely be coming back for more. And thank you so much, Pops. Thank you. And take him on. Yeah. yeah. Nice Inshallah, I'll see you all again soon. IBO world champion, the first Asian world champion, Mr. Javid Tusli Kalik. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.